What's going on everyone? Mike O back. Just a real quick video, kind of going through some cards, updating and putting together some binders. Here's a bunch of kind of random fillies. I have a bunch of themed binders. These are random fills, just extra stuff I had sitting around. Thought they would build some fun binders that are always fun to go through. The baseball card hobby is definitely about more than just investing and flipping and values and out of control wax prices. It's all about what you enjoy. Binders are a great way to enjoy this hobby in a very affordable way. And of course, you can always do crazy projects. Not something I do too often, but here's a project I came across. Just super random. Haven't uh, updated this lately, but it's basically a former Phillies binder that I started putting together. All cards that came out, mostly flagship, where the majority of these cards are ones that came out after the player left Philadelphia. So, super oddball, but a lot of these cards are just super random. Not something you're going to see every day, but just goes to show that there's a lot of ways to collect. Like everyone, I love to rip wax. It's fun. I do PSA submissions, SGC submissions. You like to watch cards in your collection rise. Love to collect the rookie cards. But you don't have to lock yourself into that. There's tons of stuff to collect and to enjoy at a very reasonable price. Something that's definitely fun to do is just things that you, uh, you enjoy. Like the fact that John Crook spent a portion of a season in Chicago with the White Sox. Not something you really think of John Crook for. But I just figured I'd share some of this stuff. Ben Revere. Hunter Pence at this point definitely better known as a San Francisco Giant than a Philly. But I thought it'd be fun. These are types of things, like this is a binder I hadn't looked at for a year or two, and I haven't really added much to. I just threw a couple cards in today. But, you know, sometimes the hobby can feel stressful, which is something that it really shouldn't. It's all about having fun, getting away from the real world. But the hobby's become very serious. It's obviously very expensive, especially in... If you're into breaking wax, if you're into collecting modern stuff, if you like slabbing, they can all get tough. But there's still tons of stuff available in bargain boxes and base cards. So I guess I just wanted to, uh, you know, remind people of that. Because sometimes we need to be reminded of that. And I'm no different than others. You know, you can get carried away sometimes with stuff. But there's a, uh, a ton to enjoy. Fun stuff here. J.C. Ramirez. He was acquired for Cliff Lee. Was terrible. Here's a few I threw in. Cole Hamels in a Braves uniform. So I'll add some of this to the collection here and there. And then I have dozens of binders that are all fun to go through. And it's not something I show off a lot. They don't get showed off a ton on YouTube. Obviously, from time to time, there's binder showcases. But uh, they're fun. It's a fun way to collect. It's kind of that old style, and it's a great way to make use of base cards if you do rip wax. And you can go and pick up stuff. Quarter cards, 50 cent cards, dollar cards, and really find a way to enjoy them. So comment below. Let me know what you think of collecting via binder. How diverse is your collection? Are you kind of stuck in that... You know, you got to go high end all the time. Mindset. Are you worried about investment and future values? Obviously, future values of your collection does play a role. It is important. I wouldn't say value means nothing. Because if you put a lot of time, effort, energy into collecting, you put a lot of money into your hobby, of course you want it to have value. You want to be able to move it someday if you have to. You want to leave something valuable for loved ones but you don't want to get overly carried away from it and with it 
you want to be able to uh, kind of stop and enjoy the hobby and enjoy the experience of collecting and enjoy your fellow collectors. Have a great one.